Good morning, guys. It's a beautiful day here on Lake Natoma. Take a look. You're looking at several children enjoying the water on this beautiful Sunday afternoon. You're taking a look at this big event. It's called Paddle Splash 2018. It's a big festival that they do every single year. This is their fourth annual. This is a really big club out here in the Folsom area. 30 kids. And what it basically is, is getting kids involved on the water. Fitness is one of the number one things that they try to focus on. I have here Shelly with me. Shelly, why is this event? so big and special for the organization um, this is our main fundraiser for the year for our kids club it's a we're a charity and that helps us to buy more things to get these kids out on the water sometimes they don't have their own so right now the kids are uh, uh, paddling around a buoy they it looks easy granted I have paddle boarded before it's not difficult, but it's not it's not that easy. I don't like that fluid on the water. Well, kids, <laughs> kids have a lower center of gravity, and they're not afraid to try things, so they usually excel quite quickly at this. I mean, you can see them out there doing buoy turns. They turn on a dime, and they've just gotten really fast this year. I'm so proud of them. So what's really great is you have um, a series of events going on, but it starts with a big race at 915, and what else does the day look like? We also have a kids race. Um, that's at 11 o'clock. We have a Zinka face painting contest, our sunscreen. Um, it's all over everyone's face, so we look like warriors. Mm -hmm. Um, we have a uh, dragon boat race, which is four people on one long boat. Oh, uh, tons of fun. And we also have a four-person relay. Ooh. Yeah, it's going to be a ton of fun. I would love to get involved. I do have a segment later, so I cannot get wet. But I do want to point out, there. I think the youngest out there is four. Generally, what is the range age for this organization? Yes, we do have a four-year-old. Uh, most of the kids are between seven and 13. We also have some teenagers, some kids in high school that are out. And, um, yeah, all age ranges. It's quite, quite fabulous. Shelly, thank you so much. Now, if you want to come out and have fun, but you're like, I don't want to be surrounded by a bunch of kids, I have something better. Not better, but something else that could be incentive to come out. Now, we have a perfect professional paddle boarder named Slater. Slater, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Shake you your hand here. Hand? Yeah, there yeah. You go. Um, champion paddle boarder, you are here hanging out. Why did you come here today? Why is this even important to you? This is my second year. Uh, this is such an amazing event. I mean, this is one of the events that really surrounds kind of the, the whole vibe around the kids, which is awesome. Um, getting the kids excited, getting them stoked, getting them on the water, uh, fitness, safety, um, and just having fun is kind of the main point. So, yeah, well, really happy to be here. All right, now we do have to go, but coming up in the next hour, you are going to show me some tips on how to paddle board. Now, I won't get on the water, but later you will at least show me how I should hold uh, the paddle and how I should stand on the board. Is yep. that cool? Yep, three easy tips will get you on the board and right, uh, cool. and get you figuring out. All right, thank you so much. Yeah. All right, Tina and Cammy, back over to you, and I heard you guys make a comment about this shirt. There's something in the power of just simply asking. Just simply asking. Oh, I like it. Ask for a shirt. You might receive one. I'll send an email for, <laughs> on Tina's behalf. But for real, I think we should go out there paddleboarding. I've been wanting to do that. It may be